Hey folks, in this video, we're going to take a look at how to annotate a Google Doc. So if the settings are pro properly set up, it's actually pretty easy to add annotations or comments into a Google Doc. What you want to do is when you go into the doc, you when you're ready to comment on something, uh, you can literally you can just highlight it. And over here on the right, you'll notice this little circle shows up with a little comment feature in it. And so I can do this for a single word, as you'll see, I can do this for an entire section if I so choose, then I can just hit the add a comment. So once I do this little box shows up and it has a, a text box that you can write into. So I can say, ask a question. Um, what is this about? Right. I can, I can ask questions. I can make comments, ask, provide clarification add my own response to it, you know, I could say, oh, this is really cool. I'm really excited because X, Y, Z, you know, in this case, we are looking at annotating syllabus, uh, but really any Google Doc, this is, this is the feature of the capability. So once I have written what I want to write, I just select the comment feature. If I don't want to do it, obviously I can hit cancel. And once I do notice, it just shows up. It tells me who did it and what time and day. Uh, in this case, it shows up as anonymous because I haven't signed in. Uh, and what we strongly encourage, uh, particularly for folks that are watching this that are in our class, we want you to sign in and actually uh, be clear about who's asking the questions, making the comments, just so that we uh, more effectively understand, you know, where people are coming from and that they've participated in this activity. Another thing that's really cool is that uh, if I came in here as somebody else and I saw this comment, uh, I could actually reply to it. And so I could say, uh, this is about the course, right? Very simple interactions right here, but just as a point of example and hit reply. And so what will play out here in this, in this side uh, space is just the conversation that goes back and forth amongst different people. Uh, notice again, there's different timestamps to give a sense of when and where things are. Now. Uh, one other cool thing that you can do is if you click on the little uh, kebab menu here, you can get a link to this comment. So if you want to uh, provide that, uh, you know, to direct somebody to a specific comment that you made, perfect. The other thing you get is this little checkbox, um, and this allows you to resolve slash hide the discussion. Uh, if you're watching this video because you're part of a course that we are teaching, uh, then I would say do not resolve, allow the things to stay up there in the conversation to, to, to play out. I think it's really helpful for all of us to like see the full conversation and just have this as an annotated space, as a uh, living conversation that's happened around the course syllabus. So but by and large, you want to avoid that, that checkbox. Um, the final thing is in, again, when you are making comments, you can always use the at symbol and then tag somebody in. So if you want to draw the attention of somebody else in the class or somebody else that you know is working on the document, you can always use that. And I can go, I can, uh, in this case, it doesn't have anybody to draw from. So this is another reason why you would want to be signed in. But I could go at Lance and then my profile would show up and I could tag myself and be like, hey, look at this. Um, so just keep that in mind. These are some of the cool features that you can use as you're taking a look uh, at any Google Doc that has that feature on. Uh, hope this makes sense. Hope if you have any questions, you will put them in the comments. Thank you.